Hello, Hi, everybody. Everyone. It's so good to see you today. And we are at Murfreesboro Lake mm, today. Yes, we are. And we are sitting in front of, I think it's the only tree here at the lake, but it's a yeah. big sycamore tree. And if you see, it's interesting. It's a lot lighter in color than the rest of the tree trunks. It's, it's very interesting when you look at it. That's right. So the name of our devotion today is called, It Just Takes One. It Just Takes One. It Just Takes One. Look, it takes just one look. Now, I remember in church, all I needed was one look from my mom or <laughs> one exactly. snap of the finger. Oh, and yeah. I was, look, I stopped talking to my friends <laughs> yep. in church because it, all it took was one. And she yeah. had these big brown And you brown knew exactly eyes. what it meant. I had the same thing. We sat in a row, all, me and my group of friends. And it, and it was always, my mom always had to look at me too. My friends didn't get looked at, but it was it was me. And I saw the look and I was like, okay. And then I had to get them to be quiet. But just yeah. took that one look. We, had to just, we straightened right up. <laughs> That's right. So how about this? It, it can take one negative word mm. to destroy something. Absolutely. To, to destroy everything, really. Yeah. But one positive mm. word can change everything. everything. It just yeah. takes one. <laughs> and so it's a difference between I can't mm. or I can. Yeah. It takes one. It just takes one. So Philippians 4 and 13 says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. That's right. It takes one. It, it's it's the, one of those I cans. Absolutely. Uh, I can do all things. It, but it's always through Christ. It's not like we can just do right, everything by our ourselves. Own. <laughs> so we want to show you um, yeah. because we're out here surrounded by trees. It takes one acorn. Yes. Look at this little guy. <laughs> it takes one acorn to make an oak, oak tree. tree. And I thought this was neat. There's a, a quote that says, um, the creation of a thousand forests is in one acorn. One, one. acorn. <laughs> and so now I had a seed pod. I, I think I've lost <laughs> it already from this sycamore tree because we, we actually had to make sure this was a sycamore tree yeah. behind us, but we verified it. It's really cool. So, you know, Zechariah 4 and 10, it, it's just mm. such a neat passage. You know, when we feel like that we can't do something or, mm. you know, that uh, who are we, you know, right. We're just that one. God could use. <laughs> right. We're just, I'm just one. <laughs> But Zechariah 4 and 10 says, Who has despised the day of small things? Even when you feel so small and you right. feel like that little acorn, he said, don't despise that. Mm -mm. Because what happens is when God uses you, he yes. gets all the credit. Yes. Because we realize, you know what, we can't do this without you guys. So right. look at this. It's the little hinges that open great big doors. Yeah, that's exactly what Have you ever looked does. at a door? It's just a little hinge right. on just that, that door. that little thing that makes the whole thing It work. opens it up. And so... Let me, let me tell you this, because uh, we're going to talk about just, um, just takes what's the name of our, what's the name of our time? <laughs> I lost it for a minute. <laughs> takes one right thought to get, to get the answer, okay? It just takes one mm. act of kindness. That's right. Oh. So, Jasmine, you experienced this the other yeah, day. Yeah, actually, us about just it. last week, I was going through a finish line car wash, which is one of those automatic, you know, you get on a conveyor belt. And it was really busy. I got in a line, and I had been waiting. It was probably like five or ten minutes at this point. And you, anybody who's been through it, you know, you get right in and out. And there was the same lady that was right in front of me, and she was experiencing some issues. And you could just see it. <laughs> I could hear her. My windows rolled up, and I can hear her. She's yelling at one of the workers. like Not having a good day. Not a good day at all. And you could just see it. the workers, are they're stressed out because they're thinking, well, our customer's not happy. So one of the workers comes back to me, and he's like, ma'am, I'm really sorry. Like, you can get out of line if you need to. And I was like, you're fine. I was like, I have nowhere else to be take your time I get it these things happen so I wait probably another good 10 minutes I've called my mom I've done everything I can do you know to be patient <laughs> and then finally he gets this lady through the line what she didn't know had happened was her thing had expired so it was kind of her fault but it was all good it all worked out but anyway so it came up to me and then he he comes over to me and I'm about to go through and he hands me a card and I grab it and it was a gift card for thirty dollars I was wow. like you didn't have to do this I was like what's this for and he was like I really appreciate you waiting and just being kind he was like it's been a rough day here you've wow. no idea and I was like well you're welcome I was like thank you so all it took was me just offering him the kindness that he needed that and brought favor got, that's right exactly right it yeah. brought favor and so just two days ago I was walking uh, where I live and this young man he was probably about well he's 20 years old he was riding his motorcycle and then he stopped in front of me and I'm thinking what I wonder what he's doing because he stopped in the middle of the road and he got off of his motorcycle and you know put the kicks down down and he started messing with his arm, like holding his arm. And, and he said, man, I just got burned. And so, oh, speaking of, here comes a motorcycle. Right now. <laughs> you know, we have sound effects always yeah, on these always. broadcasts. But uh, so he was holding his arm and he had gotten burned on the muffler, whatever, whatever you get burned on on the right. motorcycle. But I said, you know what, an apple, just a little bit of apple cider vinegar will take care of that. 
because he's a little place on his arm. And so I just lived a block away, and, and he said, well, uh, he, he said, I can, he, he said, uh, you can just get on the back. And I said, no, that's okay. <laughs> I said, I'll meet you there. <laughs> just meet, I'll meet you there. And so I went in the house, brought out the uh, cold apple cider vinegar, and put it on his arm, and it was instant, I'm telling you, seconds. It was instant relief. And do you know through that, I had the opportunity to lead him to the Lord. Wow. It was awesome. <laughs> Through one act of kindness, mm. you know, or obedience, when God That's tells right. you to do something, you know, it, it means, it can mean a soul in the yes, kingdom. exactly. You know, that God can use you in that. I thought that was just really, really uh, wonderful. So, Jasmine, I've seen one hug mm. uh, just bring healing. Wow. And I can just <laughs> tell you, there was, uh, it makes me, reminds me of when I was in Trinidad, it's been several years ago, and this young girl was there from Chile. Mm-hmm. And she was on a mission trip, but she had been there two months and was missing her mother. Uh-huh. I didn't even know that yet. And so I had already, you know, got engaged her in conversation and was ministering with her. And for some reason, well, the Lord just spoke to me to say this. And I just put my arms around her uh-huh. after, you so know, I just hugged did. her. And I said, you know what? This is a hug from your mama. Oh, wow. I, it just came out of my mouth. And Jasmine, she just started crying oh. because that's exactly what she prayed. She said, God, if I could just have a hug from my mama. Wow. And so, you know, just one hug can bring healing and can, mm. can bring comfort. And so it just takes one, wow. one act of, obedi- of obedience. I, I thought about uh, with the broadcast here, this was, you know, Rick's, um, when the COVID hit, he just right. started going to Facebook live. Yeah. <laughs> and from that, it sparked, it was like that acorn in me and it's, it sprouted yes. this big tree. It's yes. like, God, I've got so much passion for it now. And Jasmine, yes. you feel the oh, same I way. I do. I love it. I mean, you just, you feel that need. You want to share the word of God every single day that you get the opportunity to. And we get that to do that right now. It's wonderful. It and so <laughs> think about this story. It mm. took, it took one boy's lunch. Right. And what happened? Oh, one boy's lunch and it. I was like, "What's she talking about?" <laughs> one boy's lunch and it led what five five over loaves and 5, two 000. fishes for five thousand people. Yes, just by him being obedient and giving up his lunch, that so he's probably thinking, "Well, that might have been all he had to eat," but he was willing to give it up and was, I mean, returned to him and just over abundance. <laughs> well, and when you think about it, I'm, I just can imagine him walking around and said, "Y'all doing okay?" Yeah, like, you know, right. hey, that was my lunch. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. I mean, you know, it just took one, one. And so I came across this quote today uh, by Helen Keller. Mm. I am only one, but still I am one. I cannot do everything, but still I can do something. And because I cannot do everything, I will not refuse to do something that I can do. Ooh. That's a mouthful. Can you say that one more time? Yes. I am only one, but I'm still one. I can't do everything, but still I can do something. And because I can't do everything, I will not refuse to do something that I can do. Sometimes that's where we're at. Absolutely. Tell us about that. Yeah. I mean, you know, like there are certain things that you just, you know, might not be in your wheelhouse that you might not be able to do that, but that doesn't mean you can't do anything with it. You might not be able to effectively minister to someone that you can't relate to, but you can relate with someone else and that doesn't mean you still shouldn't share with them. That's right. That's very good. So little is much when God is in it. Can you say that with us? Little Little is much much when when God God is in it it. because he'll take our little and make much out of it. (laughs) And so Joshua 23 and 10 says, one man of you shall shall chase a hundred, a thousand for the Lord, your God is he who fights for you as he promised you. Get that. Mm -hmm. So he's saying one man, but look who's driving that. You know, he said, just give me a man. And, and so he's saying, you'll be able to chase a thousand. Yes. The Bible says one can put a thousand demons to fly, but two, yes. 10,000. Exactly. You know, so I'm saying when you, but when you make that step and as being that one, mm. what happens? It can ignite the fire in, in someone so else. And then, people. then what happens is the two becomes even greater. So it just takes one act of courage mm. to stand in the face of adversity. So I came across a story today and it's, it's powerful. Yeah. And so it, there was a professor um, a philosophy in the in USC, so that's University mm-hmm. of South Carolina, yes. right? Or Southern California, one of the two. One of them. Well, somewhere. USC. <laughs> <laughs> it, it could work for several. That's right. But he was a committed atheist. Mm. Uh, he spent the entire semester attempting to prove that God could not exist. Mm. 20 years, look, he, he did this for 20 years, and no one had the courage to stand against him. Um, On the last day, he would say, after the semester, he would say, if there's anyone who still believes in God, stand up. Mm. And then he would say, uh, anyone who believes in God is a fool. If there's a God, he would stop this piece of chalk from hitting the ground and falling into pieces. Mm. But something happened 
one day. And Jasmine, yeah. I want you to tell us. All right. There was a freshman that was coming into this class. He had to have this class. It was a requirement for his major. So there was no getting around it. He's in class. And before he prayed for three months straight, God, use me. Don't let me be afraid to stand up for my faith. Give me the boldness. And he gets in this class and it's, it comes to this time. The professor says it. He says, if anybody is here that believes in God, stand up. And this freshman, 18 years old, stands up. And here he is. And the professor immediately wow. calls him. I said, you fool. He said, God does not exist. If he were, he would he wouldn't let this chalk break into a thousand pieces when it hits the ground. And what do you know? The professor goes to drop the chalk, and when he does it, it bounces off his finger, rolls down the front of his shirt, down his pants, and just rolls right off his shoe, completely intact. And it did not break into a thousand pieces. True story. Yes. And then the professor runs out of the classroom. He had nothing else to say. He had just been proven wrong. Absolutely. Isn't that yes. something? And so <laughs> what did the young man do, Jasmine? He proceeded to get up there, and for the next half hour of the class, he shared the word of God with three over three hundred students that were there and his prayer was answered he got to be used by God because he asked see it started out like that one acorn yes. that one seed, po seed pod and look at this huge sycamore yeah. tree it, you know when he decided to stand up because I thought mm -hmm. about what the what the professor said is there anyone that's right yeah, is there anyone one. yeah <laughs> and so that's all it took mm. and so that's that just took that one act of courage that he was able to lead several to the Lord and yeah. planted that seed in them yes. and so Ezekiel 22 and uh, 30 says, And I sought for a man among them, and that should make up the hedge and stand in the gap before me in the land, for the land, that I should not destroy it, but I found none. You know, I thought this was mm. something. He looked for a man to stand in the gap. He may be looking for you to stand in the gap, whether, whether it is for prayer. You know, I, I thought about uh, my mom when my, my sister was, um, she was in California. She was in a, a wrong relationship. And, well, about 3 o'clock in the morning, this man was choking her to death. Mm. My mom had no idea, was just praying that God would lead her back home. Yes. And uh, so at 3 o'clock in the morning, my mom jumped up and started calling on the name of Jesus in prayer. At that mm. time, that's, he was choking her. And he let go of her. And my sister says that she felt her eyes bulging. He was, he was trying to t take her life. Wow. And just in a rage of jealousy. And so, but God spared her life and God brought her back home. Mm. <laughs> and, you know, but it took one standing in the gap That's in right. prayer. It can be one of your prayers mm. that touch the, I mean, that faith reaches heaven yes. and gives you that miracle. That's, it's just yes. powerful. <laughs> so I thought about when it says, but I found none. Mm. And Jasmine, I was looking at the word, none represents no, no one. one. That mm. in, it represents no you take the N off of none, and you've got what? One. You've got one. <laughs> one. Okay, and then if you add a D to one, oh, then you've got done. You've got done, <laughs> and that's what I love when God is when God uh, when when we stand in that gap and and we take that opportunity. It just takes one, you know. When God is saying, "Look, you're standing in the gap," mm -hmm. so it's going to be done. It's a, right. you know, it's going to be look when something is accomplished. How do you feel? Oh, so good. That feeling of accomplishment just, it goes all through you. <laughs> right. Uh, Proverbs 13 and 19 says, desire mm. accomplishes sweet to the soul. Oh. And that's so it can, it can start with one. And then God's saying, okay, now it's done. Right. Now there's something else I need you to do. Yes. It's beautiful. I love this. Okay. So Matthew 25 and 23 says, his Lord said to him, well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful over a few things. I will make you ruler over many things. Enter into the joy of your Lord. I love that. <laughs> Wow. Enter into the joy of the Lord. Yes. And he's saying, just be faithful. Mm. You know, one day at a time, one step at a time, yes. just takes one. And so you'll turn none, none. into done, <laughs> turn none into done. So Isaiah six and eight says, also, I heard the voice of the Lord saying, whom shall I send and who will go for us? Then I said, here I am. Send me. That's what yes. my prayer is. That's what mm -hmm. I want to. I want to say to him now. Is that your prayer, yes. Lord? Here I am. Send me. Mm -hmm. I want you to use my life for your glory. Yes. Let me stand in the gap. Yes. So what happens is, you know, we make ourselves available uh, to do whatever God asks us to do, mm -hmm. and so that is our prayer. So Jasmine, I want mm -hmm. you to to lead us in prayer. Yeah. Pray for our listeners today, because you know you may be at that place where you're saying, God, you know, it, it may look really small. Where's mm -hmm. that acorn again? Yes. 
broken. <laughs> it's broken. Yeah. It's, it's, well, it's we've lost yeah. it somewhere, but, it's broken. You, but it's there. You it know, is. you know what it yes. looks like. So it, it may feel like that. Mm. But he's saying, just give me what you have. I'll yes. use what you. I'll use what you have, mm. and I'll make it. I'll make it big. I'll, you know, I will do great things with it. Look at yes. this massive tree behind yeah. us. We're standing at a distance from this tree, yeah, but it's, it's massive. So Jasmine, can you run over there real quick? Yes, just real quick and show you how big. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. And so, you know what he's saying? I want you to, and and look, it's not full grown. It's it's just still still because they get massive. So big. (laughs) And and when you look at the the redwood forest and the sequoias. sequoias, Yeah, the height on those, but just. (laughs) Exactly. But let him use what you have. Yes. Jasmine, lead us yes. in prayer today. Father, I thank you so much for this day. I thank you for this opportunity you, that Jesus. we all have to just share in your word, God. And right now, I pray for all of us, any of us listening, just God, just use us. Let that be our prayer yes. for you today, God. Thank Here you, we Father. are, no matter how big or small we feel, if we feel we can't do anything at all, let us just surrender all of that over to you because you will take it and use it for your glory if yes. we are just willing, yes. God. We thank you and we love you so much. We give you all the praise and honor and glory for everything that we say and do. In your name, amen. Amen. Look, we love you today and have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye. Bye, everyone.